Hey y'all, I'm here. So, one thing that can be a little difficult to figure out how to do, at least in a standalone window manager, and I think even in a lot of desktop environments, is setting up fallback fonts, and to some extent even just default fonts for like sans serif, serif monospace, and all that. So, as fun as it would be to just say, like, oh, there's this super easy graphical tool you can install. I don't actually know of one, so we're going to be playing with XML today. Oh, yeah. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that a certain file exists. So just check slash Etsy slash fonts, that's supposed to be a slash, conf.d, and make sure that 50-user.conf exists. And if you're really paranoid, you can check the content just to make extra sure that it references either of these paths, just making sure that it's actually looking for config in the user's home directory. And if it doesn't exist, then just kind of cd int there, Then as root ln dash sv v is optional, but I just like to actually see what Steph's doing. Dot dot slash conf dot avail, just the available configs slash fifty user dot conf then a space and a dot just to make a symlink here called 50-user.conf that points to the equivalent in conf.avail. So then, once that's set up, just make sure that the reference directory exists. So in your home folder, dot config slash font config and if you're going to be doing real fancy stuff you can add slash conf dot d to the end but I'm just going to be doing one file so this should be good enough and then just kind of point a text editor to a new file in that directory called fonts.conf. And we're going to start out with just a bit of boilerplate. So, wrapped in angle braces and question marks. XML space version equals then in quotes 1.0 space encoding equals in quotes again all caps utf-8 then exclamation mark in angle brackets again all caps, doc type, all lowercase, font config, all caps, system, then in quotes, fonts.dtd. And if anyone's wondering why I'm not, like, thoroughly explaining what any of this boilerplate means, it's because aside from, like, the really obvious stuff of, like, encoding UTF-8, Okay, this is going to be 
potentially a Unicode file. Doc type font config, I think is just saying that this is a font config XML file as opposed to any other kind of XML file. I don't know what the fonts.dtd reference is doing, and I don't know how many XML versions there are. So yeah, if I don't thoroughly explain any part of font config syntax, it's because I don't actually understand it. I just know how to parrot stuff from it. Then, last bit of boilerplate, which any of these tags are just going to be in angle brackets, so if I don't mention them, just assume that they're probably there. Font config, and then somewhere below that, slash, conf slash font config. Yeah, slash font config. And the actual contents of this file are going to go between these. So the three main font families you're going to need to care about are sans hyphen serif, not just sans because while that, ali while that alias works in some places, this file, in my experience, is not one of them. So yeah, sans serif, serif, and monospace. I think the mono alias for monospace might have a similar deal to the sans, sans serif one. And like, this file can let you do fancy stuff, like choosing what's used when something asks for the font Arial, but I'm just gonna go over the simpler stuff here. So, if you want to see what's currently being used by default for a font family, fc hyphen match, and then whatever family, so I'll just check sans serif, so you can see Liberation Sans is the default. Serif, Liberation Serif. Mono Space, Liberation Mono. And if you want to see, like, all the fallbacks in order for font family, just add dash A. And the top ones are the first ones it tries, and then on down the list. And this is really useful if you find that the default fallback font for a specific character set looks like absolute garbage. Like, for some reason I'm pretty sure fonts designed for Chinese are used for Japanese, so for like IPA Gothic and Noto Sans CJK, which are like actually good. So, yeah, this is a good way to figure out what fonts are being used. So, that way you can also get an idea of like if you know that you like the default sans serif font. You can just keep that at the top, and if you know that you really don't like the default, then you know what to avoid. So yeah, back over to the file. For each font family or font that you're doing, it's going to be wrapped in this alias slash alias tag. then family tag and without extra angle brackets just whatever family I'm gonna do sans serif first and then close the family tag and then just wrap the list of fonts you want 
in prefer tags. If there's a font that you really hate, then you can wrap that in avoid tags. And for each one, just family, whatever you want. So I'm just going to stick with Liberation Sans as the default. And then you can add multiple here. So I'm just going to make extra sure that IPA Gothic stays as the preferred font for Japanese stuff. And I'll just go with Noto color emoji for surprise, surprise emoji. And if you're pretty sure that this list is going to be pretty similar between all the different ones. Then you can just kind of copy paste it and just do the little tweaks you need. So just gonna do serif next. So instead of Liberation Sans, Liberation Serif. Instead of IPA Gothic, I think IPA Mincho might be I don't even remember where it was in this list. Uh Yeah, IPA Mincho, that's what it's called. And Emoji or just emoji, so that's fine as is. Then monospace next. This one I'm going to do a bit more of a change and have it prefer hack font, which I think is just called hack over like liberation mono and all that. And then these two are fine as is. So then just save that and if you made any like notable changes just restart any applications that use fonts and then they'll apply them. So like if you notice that Firefox is using just a terrible font for Japanese you can just set up this file, close and reopen Firefox, and it should be good. Next I'm going to see if Space FM is a good enough demo. So like, here's how the fonts look now. I'm just going to suspend this and just see what would be really noticeably different. Actually I feel like hack would be different enough. So yeah, you can see now that hack is the default sans serif font. It's using that for everything here. I'm just gonna undo that, save again, and you can see that fonts are back to kind of normal. So yeah, that is setting up just fonts in general. About it for this video. Hopefully it helped someone, and uh, have a nice rest of your day.